bivariate data and covariance is probably one of the more easy topics of statistics because the formula may look complicated but putting the numbers in is actually fairly simple you just need to not be intimidated by all the different numbers so you might recognize it in exam questions as SXX or SXY or SXY it's basically measuring how as one varies does the other vary how varied is the data essentially so let's take this question the head circumference in centimeters and gestation period in weeks for newborn babies at a certain clinic over a period of time were as follows it has all this data find SXY for these data now the formula is given in the formula booklet so for the exam you won't have to remember these it's very good to get some practice in in using the numbers. I'm just going to quickly go over the first two, which we don't need, and then we'll use the numbers for the third one. If the question was asking for SXX, what would we do? Well, that symbol here means the sum of. So that means the sum of X squared. What we would do is we'd square this number and add it to this number squared added to this number squared etc and we'd add it all up because the sum means add it all up so we'd square each of the numbers and add them all up then we'd take away the sum of x squared now notice the difference this was x squared each of them and then you'd add them all up here you add them all up first it's very important it's very different to this one you add them all up first and then you square your answer notice the big difference here you square it first and add them all up add up all your answers here you add all the numbers up first then you square that answer so the order is very different and then divide by how many numbers there are so in this case six definitely good to make sure you're not making any mistakes on these kind of questions let's do the actual question they're asking though s x y what does it mean it means the sum of x times y in this case it would be this number 31.1 times 36 added to 33.3 times by 37 added to this number times this number added to this number times this number etc and you'd add them all up and that's how you do the sum of x times y take away and notice the difference this is not the same thing it looks similar but it's not the same thing it's the sum of x as in all of the x numbers added up which I've done over here times by all of the y numbers added up So that's the one thing to learn from this video is the difference between this and this and the difference between this first section and this section big difference so let's put the numbers into the formula I've times it all out added it all up and I've got this number for the sum of x I got this, for the sum of y I got this and you can check my answer and so because they're next to each other that means I times them and I divide by n n is just how many each one's got Okay, they should have the same number so they've both got six numbers it's not twelve, not the total of all the numbers it's just what each one's got so each row has six numbers so divide by six you times it, divide by six get your answer and we do 7,296.7 take away that answer what you don't do is pretend it's all on the top line so do 7296.7 take away this times this and then press equals and then divide by 6 you do it separately work this one out and then do this number take away the other number and that will be your answer